Good morning everybody. I thought I would film another weekend in outfits um, over this weekend. So let's get straight into the first outfit because I'm in a little bit of a rush. Um, the On my top I've got the Zara navy jumper again because it's just the best. Then I've got my top shop. These are called the man jeans but I think they've changed their name on the website now and they're just called like straight leg jeans but they're really really cool. I love the shape of them. I've got my orange Arquette socks and then my Cosbrogues, which are originally £110, but I got them on Depop for £35 secondhand, and the girl had never worn them. So um really, really loving like the smart shoes with the more casual um, look. My earrings are from Pilgrim. These were gifted to me because I did a campaign with them. And then my necklace is my Virgo one from Aurelia. Um, but yeah. I need to put my rings on and then I'll show you what I'm doing to take this look outside. Okay, so underneath I've got my mango blazer, which I haven't worn for a really long time actually. So it feels really nice to be wearing this again because it's such a nice blazer. And then over the top of your course I've got my Zara oversized coat, which I've just been loving wearing at the moment. It's just so, so warm um, and really, really looks cool layered up like this. And then I think today, I'm going to take my Louis Vuitton bag out for a spin because I've just been wearing my Cos bag so much but I love that bag still, don't worry. But um, last weekend I took my Celine bag out and it just felt really good to have like a different bag. And yeah, this weekend I thought I'll go with my Louis Vuitton for a change as well. So yes, that, that is today's outfit. I really, really like this one. Something a little bit of a change because there's things that I haven't worn for a while like the blazer and the brogues um, and the bag but with some sort of winter staples that I've been wearing non-stop so yeah nice little mix up. Morning guys I thought I would show you my outfit today I'm in a little bit of a rush because I really need to leave but it's basically um yesterday's outfit but I changed the jumper and the shoes and that's literally it so underneath we have the Zara jumper but this is the sort of bone coloured one it's not white and it's not cream it's like a sort of it's called bone on the website so there's that um then blazer and coat is, are the same top shop jeans are the same but then I swapped out the brogues for my Vasia trainers um just to be a bit more casual I've got um an Aurelia necklace pilgrim necklace and then yesterday I finally got my Aurelia hoops that I've been dying to get so I've got this little sparkly one one that looks like a chain and then one with a little dangly star and I put the other chain one in this in. I don't know if you can how well you can see those but I, I might do like a blog post on them or something so yeah um yeah and then I'm just going to take my Louis Vuitton bag again so sorry this one's a bit rushed but it's pretty much the same outfit yesterday bar two things have changed. <laughs> see you! Good morning everybody, lovely to see you again even though I can't see you but okay. Um, <laughs> I thought I'd film my outfit again as I have been doing over the weekend. Um, so a little bit of a different outfit for me today in a funny way because I'm wearing... I'm wearing one item that you might not have even seen yet even though I've owned it for a little while. And I've also just kind of tried a silhouette that I haven't done in a really long time. So I feel like I'm wearing kind of a different outfit, but it's pieces that I still really love. And I've just put them together when I, I don't always put these items together. So it feels slightly different. I don't know how to explain it. But anyway, um, let's start. So the vest underneath is my collusion vest, which I practically lived in last summer, but it's really good to use as a layering piece in the winter months um and then i've just put on this like button-up waistcoat it's so so cute i got this from goldie vintage and she's on instagram but you can buy her items through depop um so she's just like a vintage curator basically so i think i paid like 18 pound including postage for this but um yeah it's just like a vintage waistcoat basically i love the buttons on it i just love like the cut of it is so nice and it's nice like untucked as well um but this is sort of what it looks like if i didn't have the cardi on so i've put that on and then because it's chilly, I've thrown a cardi on over the top, but it's no normal cardi, of course, because it's from Cos, which is my favourite store ever. Um, so it's just like this really nice navy knit, but then on the back, it's like a shirt, like a plaid um, sheer material. So 
it's got like a plaid pattern but it's like completely sheer so you can see the light coming through there and you can like see my outfit through it so you can see the vest through it which is quite nice um and then it's also like comes down the sleeves as well so throwing that over the top and then on the legs we've got the Uniqlo balloon jersey wide leg trousers, whatever they're called. Um, and I've just put my vases on just to keep it simple. So overall it's like quite a minimalist outfit as per, but just a slightly different silhouette because I haven't worn anything tucked in for a very long time. So hello waist, I forgot you were there. Um, I've been wearing just like jumpers like untucked with like wide leg trousers, which is a look that I love. Like I've mentioned before if I look like any sort of rectangle or triangle I'm very happy but today we're going for hourglass I guess but I have put a cardio on over so it's a little bit but um yeah I don't know just something a little bit different still the minimalist theme still got some shapes going on because we've got the balloon trousers so they're still keeping it odd but then I like the layered the layered um detailing on top and just like some little details you know with like the plaid sheer and something to keep it a little bit different as i like um don't want to be boring <laughs> so yes on with the necklaces i've got this little rectangle um pendant from pilgrim um i did a campaign with them so that was gifted um and then i've got my aurelia virgo constellation on again and i just really like wearing these two together this week i've never really worn them together but i like that they're a really similar length and they kind of like sit together quite nicely all my usual rings um people always ask me about my rings but they're all uh special rings that you can't get so the signet ring is my dad's it's gold with a diamond in it um, he got it for his 21st birthday and I had it resized um, last year. The diamonds are, it's a platinum band with three diamonds in. Um, that was given to me from my mum, from her auntie, so that's like a family ring. My one with the green peridot stones in. I got when I was a baby actually um, from my nan. She got me that for when I was older, which I wear all the time now. So peridot is my birthstone colour on a gold band. And then, what else am I wearing? Um, and then this is my YSL, like Yves Saint Laurent ring. You can't actually get this ring anymore, but they do do a slightly different version, but it, it's, the YSL is like down your finger, so it's way more obvious that it's YSL. And the thing I liked about this is it, you can't actually tell that it's the YSL letters unless you look at the whole ring. Um, and people always ask me about it because obviously it looks quite odd on its own, but that's why I like it. Um, that I got for my 21st from my mum and dad. So they're all like sentimental rings that I'm wearing at the moment. Um, my watch is from Dan Henry. I absolutely love this watch and this is also quite sentimental too. Um, but you can buy that one. And then earrings. So I show you, I think I showed you these in yesterday's outfit and I'm going to try and show you again, but it's so hard to see what the camera's filming so the three hoops i've got a plain gold hoop with a little star dangling down i've got a chain style hoop and um this one with like cubic zirconas on it i'm really hoping you can see i'm so sorry if you can't um these are all aurelia and i can sleep in them because there's no clasp on the back they like clip right up to your skin so fantastic for sleeping in which is exactly what i wanted them for because then i only have to change my main um, earrings every day to whatever I fancy today I've just got some plain gold hoops in um, and then I've got the other chain one on this hole so I've got four piercings in that and only two in this one I did have four on both but these two um, I put earrings in that had nickel in and I had an allergic reaction basically not infected I just got really bad eczema on my ear so I took those out so I'm going to get those re-pierced and a few other piercings next month as well I think on my ears only on my ears but that's just something I've been thinking about. Um, so yeah, so to go outside, I'm going to take my cos bag again because I actually haven't worn this in two weeks and I've missed it. And I think it looks really cute with this outfit. So I'm going to take my cos bag. Um, I did get a request today on my luxury um, handbag uh, collection video that went up this morning. And that will already be up when you're watching this. So do go watch that if you haven't already. I got a request on there to do a what's in my bag video. But I was wondering which bag you guys want me to do it on. So leave a comment down below um, saying which bag you want me to do a what's in my bag video on. Um, 
I've been using my Cos one the most, but I also use my Louis Vuitton this weekend and then my Celine last weekend. Those are probably my three main used ones, so maybe one of those, but whatever you fancy. Then I'm going to stuff my Zara coat on, um, and then I'm also going to wear my Ichi scarf today. That's Ichi, not Itchy. It's not Itchy, it's by a brand called Ichi. There we go. So, this is the outfit. I'm going to put my coat and bits on now so I can show you the full fit to go outside. Okay, so today I've just not wrapped my scarf around me because I don't think it's quite that cold, but I feel like I still need something on because I don't have a polo neck on today as I usually would. So put the scarf just as it is and it's like covering the rest of my body underneath the coat. Um, did the coat up, so we're back to triangle again. Um, and then I've just got my cos bag on my shoulder today. Um, but yeah, I think this is how I'm going to go out. I might take my hair down later once I've walked into town. It gets in my way when I wear it down on the walk but I kind of put it up just to do my makeup and then I've just sort of left it up but yeah uh this is the outfit in full I've got a really exciting day today actually um I have been working all morning it's actually 12 30 now I'm never in the house still at 12 30 so it's very unlike me um but I've actually got an exciting day because this morning I put up a new blog post, the now playing number six, which has some really good recommendations on it. So go read that if you haven't. Um, my designer bag collection that went up this morning um, and my announcement about um, writing two articles for Flannel Magazine, which I'll leave all the information for all three of those things down in the description box. So do check them out if you haven't. Um, but today, I'm going to pop into town, I'm going to go grab a coffee I think, read my book for a couple of hours and then I'm meeting my friends Lucy and Becky, which I can't wait to see, um, to do a flower pot painting workshop because we are three little old ladies. I don't know if we told you but we're all turning 83 this year so we're very excited. Um, but yeah, we're going to do some plant pot painting and then I also need to actually buy a plant for my room anyway which is why I've done this workshop so now I have a plant pot to put the new plant in. So this is all very exciting. Um, I think so. Anyway, most people are probably thinking that's the most boring thing I've ever heard. But there we go. Different strokes of different folks, innit? So, I'm going to love you and leave you now. Check out everything in the description box because everything will be linked as much as I possibly can anyway. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Love you lots. Bye.